Grace Ministries presents Hour of Hope with Pastor Chioma Emmanuel. Hour of Hope, Message of Salvation time of refreshing and a moment of grace. Grace Ministries Turning trashes into treasure. Our report. Christmas now. Christmas is a, a, a season of hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a season that we remember that the hope that God brought unto us mm -hmm. is beloved Son Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. That is what we are celebrating now. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm wondering, Mommy, is that um, when Christmas time comes, mm -hmm. we get uh, people who don't even believe in Jesus celebrating <laughs> him. Say that again. Directly, knowingly, unknowingly. Oh, the Bible says every knee must bow Amen. for Jesus Christ is the Lord. You understand me? So why people are celebrating knowingly, unknowingly? Because I mean, I look at my some of my neighbors who are Hindus, who are Muslim, who are you know, who are, don't know even know have idea who Jesus is. But many of them, they, they, they have more bigger lights than I have uh, that they put out in the front of their houses. Right. Uh, some of them, you know, with all kinds of things like, you know, na uh, nativity, you know, things like that. You see people bringing it in one world, the other putting it in their houses. But we bless God for that one world, the other. They are celebrating Jesus. But the main Jesus that I'm talking about that people should be celebrating is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one that born by a virgin, came through a virgin woman, delivered from a womb, died and buried in a virgin tomb, yeah, and ascended back to heaven. And he said, I'm going to prepare for you. I'm coming back. The one that the Bible told us in the book of Luke is called our Savior. In the book of, uh, on the book of, 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 uh, of Matthew, he's called, uh, uh, he's called the Lamb of God. You know, so in any way you can look for him, he is Lord, he is King. So that's the one we are celebrating. If you go to, can I have my Bible, son? Thank you. If you go to the book of, um, thank you. If you go to the book of Luke, if you go to the book of Luke chapter one, Luke, no, Luke chapter two says something wonderful about Jesus, about whom Jesus is. Look at it. Luke chapter two, he said here, he said, he said from verse, uh, from verse nine, he said, and lo, the angel, no, from verse 8, he said, there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the Bible says, verse 9, he said, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were all so afraid. Listen, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, behold, I bring good tidings to I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior, which is called Jesus, which is called Christ the Lord. Amen. You hear? In 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 Luke chapter two, he's called the Lord, and then again he's called our Savior. You understand yes, me? Yes. So will anybody live outside Jesus? 
The Bible said he's our savior. That means we are all condemned. We are all ready to die. That's why you see, I love Christmas. Because it's not because we are celebrating it at the exact day that Jesus Christ was born. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. That is not the issue here. Mm -hmm. We is it this time, this 25th of December. Actually, if you read the Bible very well, and my commentary Bible show me that is the time when in Roman Empire they were killing Christians right. to celebrate their cause. We're offering Christians to celebrate their gods. But God in heaven look at it and believe that it's a good day to do something new, you know, and then God now sent Jesus to us. That day, the 25th of December, actually I don't think it's the time that Jesus Christ was born, but that is not the issue. The issue is that we are celebrating him because we know he's born in a day. No matter what the day is, it's our day of salvation. I was done to be condemned, to, to, to finish up, in short, but somebody somewhere by Almighty God, His only begotten Son, He sent Him for you and I. Amen. That day that He sent Him is what 25 of December represents. But what He came to do is the main thing. The main thing that He's our Savior. Me, you and I, we wouldn't have called Him. You and I, we wouldn't have even been involved. One is that we are Gentiles, we are black. You understand me? But when Jesus came, Jesus as the Messiah, as the King, as the Lord, as everything to us. Nobody, nothing else again can separate. You know what? What gladdens my heart in the book of uh, Matthew chapter two, the wise men, verse one said. Now, when Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem of Judah again, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem. Wise men. Who are the wise men from the east? These people are fortune tellers. They are star hunters. They are star watchers. That's what the Bible called them. You understand me? So they watch. That means there are people who their job was to go around looking for stars that are going to, you know, uh, come up, you know. And when they watch this star, I believe that they saw a star different from every other star. They saw a star that no heart can quench. They saw a star that no man can put her. They saw a star that is so wonderful. So they began to trace that star. And they traced the star, they dropped their religion and trace it. And that's what we have here in our nati na 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 nativity. That's why we have them here. Many people, you know, if you look at them, you see the wise men. You see the wise men? Yes. They are here standing here. You see, they, they all this just just for example, you understand me, of what happened in the day Jesus Christ was born. You know, the wise men, look at them, they trace Jesus. They trace him, and when they trace his star, it's the star of Jesus Christ that they trace. So when they saw the star, they came. Remember, it was when they were tracing the star, they mistakenly went to the house of heaven and said that we are looking for a, a, a son born in this land called the King of the Jews. That's how they understand him. But that's not what God called him. Jesus is not only the king of the Jews, he's the king of the whole universe. He's the king of everything that ever existed, both here on earth, beneath, and above. He's the king. You understand yes, me? Yes. So when they trust him, they find him. The Bible says they worship him. Look at that man. He has his own Franklin incense. Look at this one here. He has his own gold. Look at this one. He has his own silver. As they carry everything together, they were buying, bowing, worshiping baby Jesus. That's how, you know, these are part of sign of what people, you know, just to give people idea of who he is. But as a small man, there is a man, a little boy here, who carry a lamb in his hand. Yeah. What is that lamb means for? Before, men are using lamb for atonement of sin. Yeah. But the Bible called Jesus the lamb of God. You understand me? Yes. The one that came 
from the day he shed his blood, our situation changed. When he shed it as a child on eight days, the Bible said they took him and circumcised him. Blood that came from him, he will a private pain. Amen. There are private pain we have, yes. which nobody understands. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus Christ was born, even in that private, healing is there. Amen. That's why when you cry at him with your pain, he visits you. Amen. Jesus is our savior. Jesus is our deliverer. Jesus is our healer. Jesus is our helper. Jesus is the king of kings. At his name, every knee must bow. The wise men, why the wise men? The trust in any man who is wise must worship Jesus. Amen. That's why you see, they are about worshiping him with their own God. That's, this is I just the things that, you know, human being fix up it. Think of the king of king himself. Lying in that one place. Think of what people will do with him. So that's why it's good for us to remember, remember him and appreciate Amen. him. For it is his done for us. We tell him, where would we have been? We tell Jesus, who you and I, where would we have connected? You've been a bad boy, messed up, done it, but he picked you Amen. from nothing. Amen. He cleans you Amen. and give you his glory. Yes. The same thing I was. Yes. I've been, my husband was, but God picked us up from pit and give us good pit. Oh my God, I thank Jesus for whom he is. Amen. Amen. I, bless him. I bless him for whom Wonderful. he is. But what, what I've been actually uh, 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 thinking about, I mean, the season that we are in, yeah. that this Christmas day really transformed people's life because it's supposed to transform their life also. But you know what I see? Many things are even changing, mm -hmm. not just transforming. The Bible said that devil is the God of this world, but it does not stop the ones who are real Christians from understanding the price that you show Christmas is supposed to be a time of reflection. Yes. It's supposed to be a time when we should sit down and thank God and bless him for things he does for us. It's a time that we should be able to look at him and say, Lord, if not you, where would I have been? It's what, what has many things his his blood anywhere he bleeds they speak for us. So people should sit down and think of where would they have been if not Jesus. Let Jesus rapture the church today. Then when he take up the church, the light goes. The angel will no more be here. You see the angel in the mix? When the angel appear, now something happened. You understand me? Yes. Heaven, yes. full the place. Joy, full the place. Yes. When all this is gone, now you come and see the deep darkness. That's why we should thank him for a time like this and bless him. Amen. Not whether people want or don't want, but I'm saying to somebody who is watching this program today, that you will sit down and take a reflection of who Jesus really is to you. When Mary, you know when Jesus Christ was growing up, when Mary and Joseph went with him to go for a, 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 a program, usual conference as of that time, yearly conference, when they got there, Mary and Joseph left, believing that Jesus is gone, that is gone with his people. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But Jesus hasn't gone. Jesus stayed behind. But to them, they thought he has gone, walking in assumption. That, that's why it's a very good important decision for us to sit down and take reflection and say, Lord, am I really with you? Is Jesus really with me? Is Jesus really living in me? Or am I praying religion? Am I walking in assumption? The journey that's supposed to take Mary and Joseph three, 24 hours took them three days heartache. Three days heartache. Jesus is come. The same Jesus that we celebrated today. Maybe you're not a Christian. Maybe you're a Christian. Maybe you're not sure that you are walking with Jesus. Jesus, the Bible called call him in the book of Isaiah 9 verse 6. The Bible said, unto us a son, and unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. You understand? Yes. Maturity, from birth to maturity. Yeah? Yes. When you are a child, you behave like a child. When you become a man. But the Bible said, he was a child. And then, and then unto us, in that child, there is sonship in him. Mm -hmm. That whose sonship, the son of the Most High God. The Bible says, the Bible said, and he said, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor and the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. 
That's what the Bible calls him. That's what he is. And that's who he is. And that's who his totality is. Unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. <laughs>
My family is living testimony. Our ministry is living testimony. Our global ministry is living testimony. He is a mighty God. I call him ocean divider. Hear ye? I call him the one at the move of his legs. Psalm 18 said, at the breath of his nose, mighty raptures in volcano. Mighty God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. My God. The Bible, oh my God. I love to read the attributes of God. The one that carry a nation by his will overnight across a nation and destroy people who run after him. What a wonderful God. The one that look at a man and a woman who has Go past their money first aid, not that they are going into it. And out of them, he began to bring great nations. What a mighty God. The one that said yes, and no man can say no to him. The one that said that, 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 that the one that said, at the move of my leg, the whole head choke. The one that said, you know, since the day I read in the book, in the book, in the book of, on the book of, um, in the book of uh, Psalm 18, or 19. When the, where the Bible says, where God says that a nation is like a basket of sand in his hand. A nation. That's the God we are talking about. Yes, yes. Oh my God. We are talking the one. Look at ocean. In short, at times I look at myself crossing Atlantic Ocean, either to America or to Asia. When I look at it, it takes hours, 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 hours to cross it from England. Yeah? Is it not this God? It's a wonderful God. Is it not this God? It's a wonderful God. Daddy, I bless you. I worship you. We bow down and proclaim that you are God. Yes. Mighty God. The Bible called him again. He said, Everlasting Father. Everlasting Your father. father can forsake you. Your mother can forsake you. But he will forever be everlasting. If you, when you mess it up, as long as one day you reach out to his father, he's always standing by. Look at it. The Bible says, When the angel appeared, that they were so much afraid because Jesus is there. Wherever Jesus is, the angel presence, angelic presence is there. Our, our Heavenly Father, at times we as people, we can offend our parents that we dishonor us. But he never dishonor anybody. Anytime we come back to him, he's ready to say, welcome, daughter. Anytime we miss it, he's ready to say, I love you as long as you come back. Look at the prodigal son. The prodigal son. Oh, my God. I thank God. Look at Rahab. Who would have put Rahab to be a great grandmother of him? Look at, uh, born in a humble way, brought up in a humble way, called eternal father. Your mother can forsake you, your father can forsake you, but he said, I, you know what? I printed your name, I tattooed your name, I gravitated your name upon my palm. When I lift up my hand, Chema, you've been a naughty girl, but don't worry, today I begot you. Amen. That word I begot you. From that day, your life will change. Amen. Eternal Father. My father can look at me and say, no, this one, she's finished. But my God, that's why we can say, oh my God, Jesus. He says, he'll never Father. forsake you or never. leave you. No, he, 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 because he came also as a shepherd. He came as a shepherd. He, he was, uh, when I look back, and yeah, look I, at I, him, I, I, I saw <laughs> that it was to the shepherds that yes. was mentioned to them that a shepherd also is it's born. Not, yes. So he is a shepherd. Yes. And he can shepherd you and shepherd the nation and At shepherd the time, whole world. That's the only one that can shepherd the whole universe. And shepherd every other thing that is in existence that we don't see. He's a great shepherd. The best shepherd. The shepherd that knows. That's why Psalm 23 said, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Is that Lord we're talking about? When we are hungry, is our shepherd. He knows what we need. When we are being exposed to the enemy. He's our shepherd. He's a shepherd of all time. And the Bible called him the final one. The Bible said the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Can you speak about that? Oh, Let the, 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 the Prince of Peace. The as, Prince of as, peace. As, as I know him, that his ways mm -hmm. and his teachings mm -hmm. surely brings peace to mind. Oh my God. And peace to a nation. Mm -hmm. Because I got to understand that, mommy, the Lord works inside you oh, and yeah. brings you that peace. Yes. Inner peace. Inner peace. That no man can give to you. That no man Money can give does to not you. give it. Money Nothing cannot give it. Nothing can give it. Nothing can give That's it. That's why he is the 
Prince of Peace. And that's why any family today who is watching this program, who is not who is not sure of what the Lord is doing in their home, maybe you've driven away Christ and their crisis has come in, the house is full of issues, instead of celebrating Jesus in a day like this, celebrating with the family, then that's when the enemy come and begin to fight you. Let him know that your father is the Prince of oh, Peace. peace. He's in your house. Begin to declare a prince of peace. When you call that name Jesus, the angel appears, the host of heaven backs it up. If you ask for peace, he will give you peace. Whatever you ask is ready to give it to you. And I pray, oh my God, time is going again. Our time is almost finished. But we just have to cut off it. I pray today that as we are celebrating Jesus, you are celebrating the best thing you can celebrate. You could be a president, you could be a governor, you could be, you could be a billionaire, you could win lottery, you could have anything, you could, you could have achieved everything you have, and then that's, or maybe a Nobel winner, whatever it is, but nothing as joyous as celebrating him every day. Jesus is to be celebrated every morning, because any day you celebrate him, morning, afternoon, night, I'm telling you, something drops in into your life, and as you celebrate him this time, get ready for year of impossibility made possible, year 2013. Shall be a year of blessing. Keep on celebrating him. For you, we have every reason to rejoice. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so much. This ministry, we're we wishing you happy Christmas. Thank you for watching Hour of Hope. Worship with us at Bethel Place, 203 Freemason Road, Custom House, Canning Town, London, E16 3PG. Hour of Hope is brought to you by Grace Ministries and supporters like you. To partner with us, please call 0044-2070-55110. Turning trashes into treasure.